In the aftermath of the killing of Mary Kate Tibbet, Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg and Council Member Katie Valenzuela, who represents Land Park, are voicing their anger and frustration. Mainly, how do people with a history of serious violent offenses walk out of these county jail doors with little accountability of their whereabouts when they are released? The suspect, Troy Davis, who had two felony strikes, was released from jail without having to post bail in June and had a known issue with methamphetamine, according to city officials. In a statement, the city leaders say we cannot simply release people from jail onto the streets without working harder to ensure that they are getting the treatment and services they desperately need to prevent them from harming themselves or others. Steinberg and Valenzuela vowed to work with county leaders to bolster re-entry services and prevent another tragic crime, like the one a parolee is suspected of committing in this case. Where did the system fail? I mean, part of it is we have efforts in this state to continuously release more and more people from jail or prison that, in my opinion, endangers our communities. The California District Attorneys Association is placing blame on zero bail policies and bail reform efforts under Senate Bill 262, which is working its way through the legislature this week. Proponents of the bill aim to overhaul California's bail system and reduce pre-trial detention. But Tibbetts' family speaking out today in a statement to the Sacramento Bee say they feel Davis's release demonstrates a monumental failure of the state's political and criminal justice system. Them, adding, our only hope is that it won't take years for the citizens of the state to wake up and realize that we have the ultimate power to insist on changes to laws and the people who implement them to effect reforms that are so badly needed to protect ourselves from the evil that exists amongst us. Meanwhile, family, friends, and community mourn Tibbetts. The Sacramento SPCA also honoring the 25-year volunteer today as well. They are asking anyone who plans to attend a visual for her tomorrow at 7 across the street from Five Sips Coffee to remember her as she lived and not how she was taken.